Welcome back, everyone. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Gerald. I'm Simone with a Y. And today we are dealing with a ton of overabundance in the garden. We got so much stuff growing. So much. It's a lot to deal with. We so, got good stuff. Uh, it is good stuff. Yes. But it ain't going to be good for long if we don't do nothing with it. So today we're going to be giving a lot of it away. Mm hmm This is stuff that we're not going to be using for juicing and things. We like to garden and we like to share a lot of the produce, though. That's just what we like to do. I have these three baskets that I've all gotten secondhand from various places at great deals. So today we're going to be filling three, three baskets. So I got this basket from the Goodwill. It cost me three dollars. This one came from a it was like a big garage sale in the park. I don't know what that would be. Maybe like a flea market in the park. Let's say that. Um, and this cost three dollars as well. And then this one came from this is the big one that cost me ten dollars from from an indoor flea market. Off the top of my head, I know that we have like cantaloupe up there that's ready. We have some peppers and maybe even a few watermelons no no okay i keep asking gerald when the watermelons are ready he keeps saying next week and i keep asking the next week but it's not no ready. she no she don't she she started asking this <laughs> on monday and i keep saying next week and she asked me every day when are the watermelon gonna be done about a week uh, i keep thinking i ask more sparingly but i guess it's every day i'm excited yeah, mm -hmm. let's, let's say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to be using these today to turn into like goodie baskets. So just think of like, you know, something that you would love to have at your doorstep. That's what we're going for here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Simone is the coffinest person of all time. <laughs> It don't oh make no gosh. sense. I have an unknown illness <laughs> that no one has ever uh, diagnosed correctly. I've been having asthma since I was a kid, but this goes deeper. This is something else. It's like this unknown, not cough, but it's a cough, and I don't know. Ooh, it's okay. an illness, okay? Speaking of goodie baskets arriving on doorsteps, we actually have a goodie basket of our own. So we want to thank Thrive Market for sending us this care package and sponsoring this portion of today's video. So Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery delivery service that sells healthy and sustainable products. The reason we really like Thrive's business model is because we're always super busy. And because we're so busy, we rarely ever go into a physical grocery store to shop for our groceries. And this is where Thrive Market comes in because Thrive Market offers tons of affordable, healthy, sustainable, and organic snack and household products that we could choose from that can be delivered straight to our door. So let's open this up and see what kind of goodies we have in here. We got these coconut oil sweet potato chips. I've been wanting to try sweet potato chips that are fried in coconut oil specifically, so I'm excited to try these. And then we also got some of our favorites, which is poppy. There's only five grams of sugar in these compared to like your traditional pop, which has like 40 plus grams. So we love to have these. I also picked up this sun-dried tomato pesto. I'm sure it'll be good with like some pasta. I forgot I got this, but I have been wanting to try these. So this is a Blue Land dishwasher tablets. It looks like it comes with this cute little case for them. The next thing in here is this Alafia Everyday Shea body wash. We have just been looking for an alternative to like the Castile soap that we currently use. So be excited to try this one out. And last but not least, kettle cooked potato chips but they're cooked in coconut oil instead of like the nasty other oils that potato chips are usually cooked in. And I got a couple bags of these. Another cool thing about Thrive is if you find a product that they carry somewhere else that's cheaper, they will price match it. And they offer free shipping on orders over $49. If you want even more savings, you can visit thrivemarket.com slash acres to receive 30% off your first purchase plus a free gift worth up to $60. Um, our free gift here, we chose these Element Electrolyte Packets. We tell you guys all the time that we like to use electrolytes working up in the garden or just working outside to keep us hydrated. So since we're about to go up to the garden and make these goodie baskets, um, I think that we should do this watermelon salt. 
So yeah, let's put this in and head up to the garden so we can get these goodie baskets going. Can you still see the cantaloupe growing? <gasps> yeah. Bring them over here. We've got our water, the elephant this water. This is good. The watermelon flavor, it's busting. <laughs> I sound like ants. Yeah. Got our little baskets. Are these dying? Yeah. And this, y'all gonna see in a second. It's garden looking wild. Y'all know how it go about this time of year? Any of y'all that garden? The garden get out of control. Out of control. It is. Look at this. I mean, look at all the, the cantaloupe and stuff is taking over the fence. Mm hmm. There's a little one right there. Oh, here's another one. Another little okay. one. Mmm. Look at this one. Look at this watermelon. Look at those are cantaloupe. These are can these so these are cantaloupe. There's one here, there, 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 and look at that one. That's a cantaloupe. That don't look like no cantaloupe. And look, this is just crazy. All of we'll, this. We'll start down on this side. All of this sea of green that you see right here is a watermelon cantaloupe and cucumber. As you can see here, here's a little baby uh, watermelon. We got a, a few watermelon growing right next to each other, right there. There's all different phases of life. It is a bunch <laughs> going on. These, let's walk over there. The cucumber are all dying because, well, we couldn't get to all of them because it was so much. So they started ripening. And once cucumbers start ripening on the vine, the whole plant dies. So Ew. all of these cucumbers <laughs> are done. I mean, look at all of these cucumbers. It is a lot. <laughs> we planted probably too many. I don't think we probably, that. we yeah. definitely planted too many. But we still have some over some cucumbers over in that No, those are dead too. Okay. Yeah. All of these over here are cantaloupe. And we've been wanting some cantaloupe. We're gonna jump in here and try a cantaloupe out with y'all. Oh. Ooh, I can smell them. Ooh, there's some right there too. Oh, there's a bunch there. of them. This one is overripe, I think. Ah! We'll see. Yeah, that's a little overripe. I'm gonna try it anyway. It smells so good. It mm. does smell crazy. Let me have some too. Ah, bugs. Is your knife clean? Wow. Okay, give me some. Look how juicy that is. I know. There's that for you, woman. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Half of it fell out my mouth, but. Mmm. 10 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> it's got a good thud to it. Smells good. It smells like cantaloupe. Popped right on off the vine. That's how you know this one ready. Everybody gets a cantaloupe. So there's gonna be a cantaloupe there. Let's see this one. Ooh, that one's big. Yeah. That, that looks bigger. That should be a good one. Take that. I'll put this Why one. is this? It is so many cantaloupe. These ones are different. Different variety? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of wanting to open this one because I don't know what kind this is. Throw that one in there. That one's ours. Here's one. Three. All right. Everybody gets a cantaloupe. Next up, we're going to do some tomatoes. And we have some Roma. And we also have the little cherry tomatoes too that are nice and ready um yeah. those could use a little bit more time huh well uh, they'll be all right they'll okay. ripen off the thing you just want to give her the whole yeah snip this one look at that beautiful those Ooh. things are bright yeah they are. shoot i punctured one Look at that. Look at 
Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Right there. Right here? Yeah. Oh. Good tomatoes. Oh, another one. Jeez. I've never really grown like larger size tomatoes before. Yeah. Only cherry tomatoes. So it was pretty fun. Pretty exciting. Throw those in. It's looking good. No. What? These ones had more time. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. We kind of just let uh stuff grow wild around here. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of pruning things. I like them to just grow for the most part. Tomatoes I don't really care much for when it comes to pruning. I already know that next year there's going to be so many tomato volunteers, volunteers. that pop up right here. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like weeds. So, yeah. man, got a good little basket of Look tomatoes. Mm. And also these strawberries that we planted this year are going crazy. I try not to let the strawberries uh, like fruit the first year. And I was on top of it, and then one day I just looked down here like two days ago, and there were some strawberries growing. So a couple of them I decided to let grow all the way. So we're going to do a taste test mm -hmm. on the camera with the couple that we let grow. I can't remember what variety this is. If I figure it out by the time we post the video, I'll put it somewhere around here. But these are the two I let grow on there. I knew you was going to take that one. <laughs> You go first. Cheers. Tot. hot. That is good. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's so juicy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ah. Dripping. I ain't never seen a strawberry drip water like that. Look oh at that. Gosh. That's so delicious. That's a good strawberry. Mm -mm -mm. Next year, like, look, they grow on so much there, there, mm -hmm. all the way Oy. down there. And then I also planted this ring around this plum tree here, and it's a ton growing here. So next year, I'm gonna have so many strawberries, we're gonna get sick, and I can't wait. Good, yeah, me neither. We almost forgot to show y'all. Look. look at this giant. Watermelon. Like, is it coming up on camera how huge it this is? This thing don't make, I don't know if it's like the camera is doing this thing justice, but it's this thing ginormous. is insane. You probably can't see it from that angle. Yes, I can. Move that vine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Can y'all see how big this is? Does this make sense to y'all how big this thing is? <laughs> I don't know if it does. Put my head on it. This thing is giant. I can't wait to say the seed from this one. Hopefully, it didn't cross pollinate. With the, with cucumbers, the cucumbers, but I'm I'm gonna save the seed regardless, and we gonna find out because this thing right here, I need these jeans. Hefty. Yeah. That is a big old beat. Let's see. Let's see. Not this one. This one too. That is a big beat. Ooh. What? Four? Yeah. This one. <laughs> that little cone head shaped beat. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. Beets. Next step, we're gonna grab a few onions. Look at these things too. We got some huge giant. Oh my gosh, that one is huge. Onions in here. Look, look at that one over there. Yeah. Got a bunch of them. Y'all remember uh, at the beginning of the year? I don't know if we gave y'all an onion update since then, 
but we were planting onion seeds. I said, if everything else in the garden died, but only onions grew this year, I would be happy. Because I've been trying to go onions for five years. Well, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. It was a successful garden year because I finally got onions to grow. So we're going to pick a few of these. Yeah, some big old onions. Ew. We're going to save seed from them. So this big one here, that big one, and then this big one down here. We're going to save seed, and this one here. We're going to save seed from those. We're just going to leave them in the ground like this since onions are biennial. So next year, they'll flower, and they'll produce a bunch of seeds. So we'll be able to harvest some seeds next year, and then plant them. Yep. Well, let's pick some of these. This one. Oh. One for you. Two for you. One in there. Put that one in there. That one's borderline. Still good though? Mm hmm. All right, we're grabbing some good purple kale too, as you can see. So, well, it's called scarlet kale, but this type of kale, or like if you get cabbage too, any type of brassica that's purple colored, you won't really have to deal with cabbage moths or anything. You can see right next to the purple kale here, this regular kale and collars got ate up, got destroyed. And this one is all intact. For whatever reason, cabbage moths don't like uh, whatever whatever makes the cabbage and other brassicas purple. So they'll really just leave this stuff alone. So if you really love kale, if you really love cabbage, it's some great varieties of each in purple that you can plant to make sure that you get a harvest. Yeah, because I had to cut down all the other collard slash kale in the other bed down there because the cabbage moss ate them to the bone. Like even ate, with our... Even with the net on. Yeah. They still found a way to get under there. Mm -hmm. But they didn't touch the purple kale all year. So it, it got a little too hot up there. So we had to kind of was... cut our time short abruptly. We had to hurry up. Yes, it was very hot. But we got all the stuff. So we're making our first basket. The water's running because I'm going to rinse off the carrots. But we, our first basket is going to have some some Roma tomatoes, two onions, some carrots, kale, and some beets. Mm -hmm. and some oh, celery. and a cantaloupe. And celery. And celery. Okay. I have these little, I'm going to call it a harvest box because it looks like something you, when you go to like a U-Pick farm, you know, the little boxes they give you for like the berries and stuff. So we're going to put the tomatoes in here just to corral them a little bit more. So these are Roma, and I think these are San Marzano. Those in there, how cute, how beautiful. Oh. Simone in her element, if y'all can't tell. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we have some carrots. Oh, Gerald did this, cute little. Yeah, we had some rosemary. So. Sprig of rosemary. Yeah. Maybe we'll put that, you know, in there like that. Okay, so our carrots. They're gonna need to be washed for real. I just kind of did a rinse. I don't have time <laughs> right now. So our carrots are gonna go in. We have two onions. Two nice onions. Yeah, these are really good size. Yellow onions. Walla Walla onions, Elsa Craig onions. Elsa Craig onions, okay. Yeah. There's some kale. Mm -hmm. Scarlet kale. We'll just put behind that and then we have lots of celery this is gonna have to come back and sit on top of something else yeah because we want all the good stuff so maybe the celery can kind of be our oh probably need a rubber band for the celery no nope. yeah. um then we have two beets so our two beets can be right in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much. And then Ooh. our a bigger basket. Tomatoes. Our tomatoes can go right on top. We also put in 
a few little cherry tomatoes too. Yep. And that is her basket. This is we got a lot of full basket. foliage yeah. up here. Looks good though. Look real good. Oh, Whoa. the cantaloupe. Oh yeah, we gotta get a cantaloupe too. Where the cantaloupe gonna go? It, it, like this. On the side, we'll right? Into her just, well, hey, yeah. Dirty. We'll finish up the other couple baskets, but this one we gotta drop off. Yeah. Tonight. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna drop this off. Then we're also gonna take some cantaloupe over to my parents' house. Yeah. And we're gonna do some taste tests with them. Yep. Because they've been wanting some cantaloupe. And we'll get some tomatoes because we have. Oh a yeah, lot of and those. a few tomatoes. That's okay. a good looking basket though. We're making our last little tripping rounds of drop-offs for these goodie baskets. Just another one right there. Throw that on the doorstep. I think that's Simone's vision. But that, like, so much joy <laughs> in doing that. Look at that thing. Come home to a little fresh basket of organic produce sitting on your door. I almost forgot their beets. What did Christ say? It is more blessed to give than to receive. And when you have a garden, you have so much food, you, you learn quickly what that means and what that feel like. Picking and harvesting and everything from the garden is great, but giving from it feel even better. It's wild. Well, now that we're finally back home, we can do this taste test with y'all of these cantaloupe here. What we're gonna do is to get one of each. Now, this kind here that y'all saw earlier, this is called a sugar cube musk melon. And this kind is of hearts of gold musk melon. Now, if I had to take a guess on which one would be better, it'd probably be the sugar cube here, mostly because of the name and also what I read and what I saw on it, but what I saw was James Prigioni, the Garden Channel guy. He grew the sugar cube. He ate it and said that it was like the best, the sweetest cantaloupe that he's ever tasted and grown. So that's why I'm assuming this one's gonna be the best. And then I read like the Hearts of Gold one. It's supposed to be like of just a more traditional type cantaloupe taste. I don't know, we'll see. And I think that Mariah, Simone's sister is on her way She's bringing our nephew over so we can watch him. So she'll be able to join in on the taste test also. See which one she likes the most. We'll give some to the baby too. Maybe, maybe he'll, he'll be the ultimate guy. Y'all know kids and babies do not lie. If they like something, they like it. If they don't like it, you'll know. So let's find out. We gave the one we were supposed to try. We gave it away. So <laughs> that's why I have to come back and pick another one. The baby's made it. Mariah's made it. The woman's here. And the cantaloupe. And the best cutting board all the time. The cats are here fighting. We got a lot going on. We gonna start with this one. Okay. You gotta be more No. I'm ah, 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 ah. I've been going twice a week. Not bad looking. Yeah. Oh. Cheers. It's a little hard. Very hard. Mm -hmm. The flavor is good. Mm -hmm. You got a taste. Mm-hmm. You got a taste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I don't eat it. It's hard. But yeah. Yeah. Mm. You like it, baby? Oh, now that feels amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't like to look at that one more. I want that piece right there. I'm oh, sure you do. Yeah. That's not the piece I was talking about. Uh. <laughs> Give this to me, my Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is it. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Juicy. This is what I think of. Sauce. Mm. The juice. You better you slurp it in. That's good. Rating on a scale of 10. From somebody who's not like a really big cantaloupe eater, I would give this a 10. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. This is like the perfect cantaloupe. I'll give it 10 to on the scale of cantaloupe. <laughs> I don't know what my face looking like, but 10 <laughs> on the scale of cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all heard it here first. Sugar Q musk melon. If you want to grow a cantaloupe, this the one to grow. Come on, baby. Oh. He eating everything but the cantaloupe. <laughs> That's fake. <laughs> well, that pretty much wrap it up for this video. We finna eat this cantaloupe. Thank y'all for tuning in. Till next time, we'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Peace.